Get another little moose track up here now. Just seeing a number of moose up here so far. The last couple of weeks that I've been up here. It's been a geez, a wonderful place if you guys come up and get your moose, but I know there's a fella looking for a moose. So Alice, if you're looking at this, you know where to come and get your moose, buddy. Here now setting up another box. I already got nailed on the tree there and that. Uh, setting on this air tree because there's just so much Merton sign around it. There's old sign there. There's new sign over there. There's, I don't know what's on to go with this tree. And moose sign over there. I just noticed that. But, uh, there's all hills up here. I mean, there's a lot of birch. I don't know what is Merton here. There's so much birch. But, uh, any tree is good for a martin, I suppose. Trying this here, setting it up on the, one of these poplar trees. I almost gotten ready there. But, uh, just a lot of, too many hills up here, I think. <laughs> Half a lot of hills. and But I guess there's lots of hills, there's lots of burnt, and hopefully. I've seen, uh, I've seen about a dozen different places today where there's burnt and sun, but I mean, it, it just don't seem like they're they're all that hungry yet, but uh, they're on the move, so they they must be on the go somewhere. Well, right. This is it. I guess I get, this is the last box I got here for the set. Put me today, because I only come up with the box on the back of my screw today, and uh, I fit about a half a dozen boxes into that. But today I really only come up late just for the set up, uh, get this trail all set up, and come up again Wednesday. So, hopefully I'll have a Merton here Wednesday. Seems like a good place where they're crossing over back and forth all the time. Had a pretty good little trail here. It used to be a groom trail, but uh, we don't groom it anymore. I'm part of the Grand River Snowmobile Club here and uh, been grooming for the last year or so. Hopefully I get a video of that sometime. But, uh the last box here now and uh, find somewhere to turn around and then on the way back I'll set up a few snares. A few lynx and foxes and stuff on to go up here so something different anyway. Just got turned around here now and uh, headed back up to the trail and uh, where I turned around to. See there's a little tawny track here. I'm guessing it must be a, a mink or something because it's definitely not a merton so small as that. Can't be. But, uh, don't really care what I gets up here now. I never I haven't really got anything up here yet because it's just been all the weather conditions have been all screwed up and it's just haven't been good. But up here you can see that there's a it transitions a lot up here. Right down there at the end of the trail is all birch. And then it comes up here, I mean it's all spruce. It's like that. There are a number of different places up here. Pretty good looking country though, I think. A lot of Martins on up here anyway, and uh, hopefully next time it comes up I'll have a few catches. Uh, Backtracking again here now with the... Just showing one of the old Skidoo Trail signs. People up here, they just loved shooting the signs. I don't know why they like shooting signs so much, but... There's three or four places I come across now. It was shot the signs up here. All up along that bank there, there's a bit of partridge on or not, and uh, I've never seen one yet today, but uh, usually I only see them when they fly, I vines, but I don't really look around for them unless I got the gun with me. Never better taking the gun up today, but that's it, I guess. <coughs> on the way back to the trail now, and uh, get a few snares set up and a few fixed up, and get all that good stuff straightened away with awful lot of rabbits on up here today too. Never bother taking any rabbit snares up with me, but uh, I find usually there's wherever you got a Merton box or any kind of smell, there's always a rabbit around it. But I tried setting them up there one time, and uh, I found uh, every time Merton would come, he'd just to eat the rabbit and go on. He never went into the trap, so I stopped that pretty quick. 
And, uh, yeah, well, this is a pretty nice day up here today, I must say. It's supposed to be getting a little bit of snow tomorrow and uh, cool off a little bit, but uh, it's all alright, I guess. Just a little bit further up the trail there, and I looked over and uh, see a partridge took off running flat out. Never bothered flying. Oh, there's a rabbit. Maybe it was the rabbit then. Look, look, there he is. He's coming. He might come out through the trail. Not sure. Must have been the rabbit instead of the partridge because he went so darn fast. See if I can back up and see if I can find it. I wouldn't make a nice pot of soup, eh? If I had my gun now, I'd probably go in after it. <laughs> Even though he's only about 15 feet away from me here on the skidoo. Down there tucked away he is. Let's see if I can get him with a fox in there or something. I don't know, he's pretty, pretty wild, I think. Big land trapper there got a little fly rod that he keeps a snare on the end of. I think I might be able to get him with something like that today, but uh, I don't know. I'm going to try to cut down a tree or something if he don't move around or whatever. See if I can catch an interfax snare. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this one here because he's, every time I moves, he moves too. Getting ready to run there now, I think, but uh, pretty calm, I must say. I'd say he could be chased around with Martins or something. You never know up here in the country. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer to him. Oh, oh, gone again. <laughs> Happy little rabbit, I guess. Oh well, got one of these trail sets made up here, and uh, got my snare hanging off that there drag pole, I guess. Got uh, got the rest of the trail blocked off. The reason why I'm setting these here is because uh, just about the rest of the year I had lynx and uh, foxes or whatnot to uh, walk right down the middle of my trail. So I said I uh, can't do no harm in trying, so I set up this here. All right then. Here now another one of these little trail sets. Got it all blocked off. We got the snare set there. I just want to show you how I make some snares now. I just uh, use these slim locks and stuff like you would with a regular snare or whatever. But uh, I put some extra six inches or so on it. When I cut my uh, tie wire, it cuts off an extra six inches or whatever. And that way I can uh, move an up or down wherever I need to put them to. setting just how you want some, right? And if you want to put them farther out into the trail or whatever, you can. This is just the way it, uh, that I'm setting them now. Because the snow wouldn't so hard as it is here in the middle in the middle of the trail. So, i got another one set. We're just about back out to where the truck is to and i get the skidoo loaded up and back on the, on the road again back on home.